Hello everybody. I guess I just decided to come on to talk about my big chop. I started transitioning with my hair journey on well my last relaxer I had was on November 10th. I mean November 9th of 2011. And why did I decide to do that? Um, well, I was natural once before, and um, I didn't understand about natural hair care and um, maintaining natural hair and um, just, you know, the overall taking care of, of natural hair. I didn't, I didn't do homework. I didn't understand it. I just wanted to be natural. I didn't really have a reason why the first time. So um, I did a lot of, you know, flat ironing and a lot of pressing and a lot of heat. And ultimately, I ended up getting heat damage. I didn't know what that was at the time. I just thought, that my hair was uh, straightening some kind of way. I didn't, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what heat damage was. I was very, very ignorant to, about natural hair at the time. So I um, had started looking at a couple of makeup tutorials and I was experimenting with doing makeup and um, I stumbled across, I don't remember who it was, but I stumbled across somebody's natural hair journey. And I watched it and it inspired me and I, I just kind of got stuck one day on YouTube just looking at all these natural hair videos. I had no idea how big the community for natural hair, hair was. So um, I just learned a lot. I started, you know, researching and learning a lot. And then I had, you know, I knew a few people who were on the natural hair journey. One, one of my cousins, I was starting to accumulate information for her because I knew that she was having struggles with, I'm doing a vlog. <laughs> I'm doing a vlog, talking to the camera. <laughs> So, um, so anyway, so my cousin, she was on a natural hair journey. My best friend was on a natural hair journey. And I think that they were kind of the same way I was at first, where I didn't really have enough information to care for my hair properly. And I think that they were kind of stuck. So I was, you know, I was curious about the whole thing after I stumbled across these uh, YouTube videos. And I started getting information for them. And then I said, you know, I think I'm going to try to do this again. I'm going to try the natural hair journey again. So, um, I started just growing my hair out. I stopped using heat altogether. Um, well, no, I, I, I used heat still until, because I was still not sure that I was going to do this. And then in January of this year um, was the last time that I put any kind of heat to my hair. And I started doing um, the different transition hairstyles that I was coming across on YouTube. So, um, anyways, so I, you know, started gathering information, started putting together the recipes from Kim A Tube and uh, Natural 85, and um, and I started really enjoying the. Um, results that I was getting from uh, the, the, um, the products that I was using. And when my hair started to grow, my new growth started to come in, I mean, I knew, I always knew that, you know, I had this kind of cool texture. What can I do to get it to stay like this? How can I get it to look like this all the time? And um, so I started trying all these um, different things that I was coming across and I started being more knowledgeable about what not to use in my hair. <clears throat> um, hold on one second. Okay.
So I thought I was going to wait until June to, to cut my hair. I said it would be a perfect time to do it. It'll be, you know, summer and probably easier to manage. So I was going to wait until June to do the big chop. And <clears throat> I guess I really started getting frustrated with dealing with both textures, straight ends. I, I, I couldn't last any longer. I was really getting tired of dealing with the, the straight ends and the natural hair. And I wanted to get back, you know, I wanted to get to the, to the natural hair, you know, to have a, enough new growth I felt to work with. And, I, and not to mention, that I was kind of, I've been kind of going through uh, a difficult time emotionally, and I think that for some reason when a woman goes through a crisis in her life, she always does something to her hair. So I guess I'm at that point. And it was a combination of both. So I just decided. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna do it myself. My my stylist, who is a really good friend of mine, I really wanted him to do it, but it's really hard to pin him down these days because he's he's very busy, very successful hairstylist. I love him to pieces, but I will eventually get to him because my hair is not the perfect cut that I wanted right now and, I'm, and eventually I want to get to him so he can hook me up the way he does so hi Larry <laughs> that's my stylist and my friend so um when I was a teenager a young teen my mother wouldn't let me get a relaxer in my hair. She always like, why are you getting a, you don't need to put that hot stuff in your hair. You got good hair. I never knew what she meant by that. I, you know, she said, I used to just put water and grease in your hair and it would curl up. <laughs> I actually talked to her about that today. That was really funny. Um, so I just didn't, it, it's been so long since I've had to deal with my natural hair that I really didn't realize how cool, you know, the texture is. Not just my texture, but black hair, period. Oh, here's another thing. I was at, uh, last week, I was at uh, Perspectives Corner, the uh, radio show that I help my friend with. She has a radio show. And um, so one of the guests that she had on the show was the model Tamiko. Hi Tamiko. Tamiko Hines. Tamiko Frazier Hines. And um, she, if you don't know who she is, I, I'm going to put a picture of her up so you'll see how beautiful this woman is. I knew what Arona asked her about her natural hair journey and she, you know, she was very candid about how you know freeing and liberating it was and you know it was very inspirational not to mention that she's just absolutely gorgeous and I was like man I want to be able to rock my natural hair like that too she was beautiful and she's rocking that natural look and it inspired me to 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 just do it and the next day I cut my hair the next day this was last week this was last Thursday so Friday I bought me some shears and cut it off and I'm so glad and she was right it's very freeing very liberating I'm very glad I did it and I'm looking forward to uh, what's to come in the future with this natural hair journey so um, that's all I have to say I hope you enjoy watching um, I hope that hopefully that I can be an inspiration to somebody else and um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.